So I proceed to get my baby bag. It was at the time, I think on the floor. So I reached down and I tried to grab it and he snatched it. So he put my baby bag on the couch or whatever. He was telling me, he was like, you not going no fucking where or whatever. You not going no fucking where. And I'm like, give me my baby bag so I can go. Give me my baby bag so I can go for real. I'm not about to play these games. It's your girl Haley Simone, the one and only Haley Simone, and I'm back with a story time video. Baby, this tea is motherfucking juicy, so make sure you go pull you something, get you some wine, relax, or your mom. If you are a mom, then you're about to understand where I'm coming from in this story time video. So to my moms only, if you're a man and you're watching me, hey, but to my mom, you're gonna need this, okay? So let me take a sip. Cheers, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the video. Wait, 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 wait. Before I get into the video, give this video a thumbs up you can give it a thumbs up right now or you can give it a thumbs up towards the end of this video when you get done watching it it don't even matter just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then go ahead and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified whenever i post a new video too because i'm about to start back dropping all the time and i promise you you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this tea. Do y'all like the new scenery? I love the whole nature of this. This is my mama Mira. She just got it chilling outside. Honestly, I think she still can do something with this. Like she can put it in the living room or something because it's a really big mirror. So for right now, she just got it sitting on a porch. I don't know what she's gonna do with it. It don't rained on it and everything, but it still looks really, really good. You know, it got a few scratches. So since the last video, I have a lot that I wanna update you guys on. If you haven't seen the last video, then what are you doing, baby? Go watch that video first and then watch this one because it's going to pretty much just piece everything together. So make sure you go watch that video because yeah, you need to, so it can all come together. But anyways, so once again, I agreed to link up with my baby daddy so he can see his baby. And it was some BS again. Like, I just cannot catch a freaking break. Like, I don't understand why he hate me. Like, what did I do to you? Why do you keep coming for me? Like, I'm just so innocent. I'm so innocent and I'm really, really trying. Well, let me just go ahead and jump into everything. Me and Milani get to his house. You know, I pulled up in my mama truck for one because, you know, just a different scenery. So I text him and I was like, we're outside and I seen him looking out of his blinds because he didn't see my car. He was trying to really look inside my mama car to see if that's me and Melanie or whatever. So he came on out. I had already grabbed Melanie and everything out of her car seat and he got her i gave him her bag and we walk in the house or whatever and then he stepped out he stepped out for like maybe like 10 minutes or whatever so you know sat down on the couch he came back in and he grabbed milani instantly milani starts crying like she starts crying extremely bad to the point to where he cannot soothe her at all like she just instantly starts crying or whatever. So I let them do them. I'm just watching, being observant, you know, like minding my business. I'm on my phone, I'm scrolling on TikTok. You know, I'm just trying to give them some space, give him some space. We always fussing, we always arguing. I don't have time, just leave me alone. Just see about your baby and do y'all, okay? So I was just scrolling on TikTok, minding my business and everything. And he starts, basically he starts with me. He starts saying stuff like, 
oh yeah, and about the car seat, I don't think, you know, it's a good idea for you to do this, this, and this. And then he was like, so you still then breastfeed? So you still not thinking about breastfeeding? And I'm just like, don't worry about that. I didn't want to breastfeed. My baby formula milk that she's on is good. Like, come on now, we're past this. Every single time it's the same thing. Like the same exact thing. Want to argue. Oh my gosh. All right. At this point, I'm just tired, y'all. Like I'm just tired, I'm exhausted. Just pay attention, okay? Just pay attention and I promise you, you're going to be able to imagine what I'm talking about. So, me just sitting there, ignoring him or whatever, just letting him talk, you know, he's slick fussing or whatever, I'm just on my phone, I'm ignoring him, you know, I'll say stuff from time to time or whatever, but I'm not really saying nothing, I'm just minding my business or whatever, and mind you, while he's talking to me, Milani is still crying, like, she will not hush at all, Milani is still crying, right she's still crying extremely bad so i got her and i let her stay on me for a while while she was chilling on me he gonna come over there and like get close or whatever and he gonna like for an example i had milani in my arm and she was just you know she was on me or whatever and i was still like scrolling on tiktok and he gonna come over and get like right here in front of me and try to you know play with Milani and like you know lean all on my leg and stuff like that and I'm just like if you don't back up please back up uh-uh this not that do not touch me period he's talking about I'm just trying to play with my daughter here here you go get her get her okay because no no do not touch me period you know, I hate to even be like that, but no, he just come with too much drama and it's always something and no, don't touch me. Just, I don't even really want to be here. Okay. Just leave me alone. Play with my money. Do what you want to do. I'm not saying nothing. I'm out the way. Imagine me not even being here. Okay. He got my money and then he backed up or whatever, you know, they started doing them. He started feeding her some fruit and stuff. And I seen him putting the fruit in his mouth and then trying to feed it to her and stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I had said something about that or whatever you're talking about. I bet you do it or whatever. Anyways, let me take a sip. All right, so I'm about to stand up because I need to see. I need to be standing up because I'm scary. And as you can see, it's dark out here and uh, uh if I hear anything, baby, I am going in the house. I'm right here by the door, okay? Cause don't play with me. <laughs> I am scary. I'm really, really scary, okay? But anyways, let me go ahead and get back to the video. All right, so, you know, I said he was feeding Melanie some fruit. He just couldn't stop her from crying, more of the story. Like, she just kept crying the whole time and Something fell from the tree. It was just a little leaf or whatever, but I'm still, Lord Jesus, I cannot tell this story out here. Let me take my scary butt in the house, but maybe I can hurry up. <laughs> Am I the only one like this? Like, do y'all hear that too? Like, I don't know. Mama be out here all the time. It's just my scary butt. Since Milani was crying so much, he was getting irritated because of that because he couldn't soothe her and he started taking his anger out on me more like start fussing at me about a whole bunch of stuff and then he had mentioned that if i don't stop doing certain things he was going to take me back to court my nose is itching so if it turned red that's why yeah so he had mentioned that he was going to take me back to court and that was my cue i had already got up because i was just like you know what like you keep coming after me for no reason and i'm just trying to sit here and be observant and just mind my business i'm not arguing with you i didn't come to argue with you and this is what you want to do in front of our baby like come on now like i understand that you don't like me 
but Milani, she don't experience this at my house. She's happy, we're always happy. I always show her nothing but love. I don't even let her see me get irritated or something, you know, even though it's life and we go through things. But for the most part, for the most part, I show my baby nothing but love. I love her to death, that's my baby, like, she's everything. All right, so y'all, I'm in the house. I am like too freaking paranoid when it comes to that. Like, I cannot stand outside at nighttime, y'all. Nothing but bushes. I don't trust it. I'm too scary. So I'm in my room and I pray that y'all are bearing with me because it's finna get juicy. I promise you, this part of the story is some tea. So let's take a sip. This is really strong. I'm not a drinker no more. I barely drink. But I needed a drink while telling this story so I can like get into it. You know what I'm saying? Because I cannot believe, once again, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Dang, it's always something. I'm not just trying to be happy. And love on my baby. And mind my business. It's always something. All right, so I'm about to go back a little bit in the story because I left something out. So when he had Milani, and y'all know she wouldn't shut up, basically. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because hearing her cry like that, it took a lot in me to just sit there and let my baby cry like that because she really don't do that here. Milani is a happy baby. She's very sassy, so, you know, she have her moments and stuff, but she don't act like that. It was so sad seeing her cry like that, too. So, going back to the last video that I had recorded when I allowed him to get her, I understand how bad she was crying then because she's doing it now. I don't know what went on in his household when he had got Milani that time, but I just knew that she was upset and she don't fool with him, period. Him and Milani came and sat down on the other end of the couch. So I'm on one end, he's on the other end. So, you know, he's not near me. He was feeding Milani this fruit that it stains. Like, it's very, very messy. Is it a raspberry? I don't know, I'ma attach it. I don't know why I can't think of the name of that. It's because it is. I can't think of the name of it and I don't wanna think too hard, but I'ma just put it on the screen so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Anyways, it was getting everywhere, right? So, you know, Milani, she was eating on it at first and then I don't think she too much liked it because she stopped eating it and then she started playing with it and it was getting like everywhere. She had on a white long sleeve and some tights. It was all over a rag that he had. You know, he was wiping her hands and stuff with it. It was everywhere. And I was just like, I don't think that she should be playing with that anymore because she's not eating it. So just give her her toys or something. You know, I was just telling him what to do or whatever because she was messing up her shirt. Like, she's not eating it. She's just playing with it. She's squeezing the juice out of it. Like, no, that's messy. But once again, he got mad. He don't want me telling him nothing, like nothing at all. And he hate that I do. And he hate that I want allow him to do certain stuff. So he take it out on me, I guess. I don't know y'all, like I just cannot understand him. Anyways, when I kept telling him no, because he kept trying to give Milani the freaking raspberry, like disrespecting me, F what I'm saying. It's getting everywhere. My baby hand was like, was it red? My baby hand was stained, basically. I wipe her hand, it won't come off, you know, that type of stuff. And he literally would not take it from her. And it, she's just a mess, a freaking mess for no reason. He got so mad to the point to where every single time i would say no do not give her that he did this <laughs> like was being his forehead to the point to where he was going crazy he was like 
I'm not gonna beat my forehead, but y'all get what I'm saying. You bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I looked over. I said, oh my gosh, you are really crazy. Like, it's something wrong with you. You are really delusional because what person is going to sit there and beat their head like this because they mad? So now, you know what? I'm not even going to say nothing else to you. It's getting very much weird in here. And I don't know what to do at this point. So I'm just keeping my cool or whatever. But I did tell him, I was like, yeah, you're crazy. Like, it's really something wrong with you. And it's it's really sad at this point. Like, it, it's sad. I don't know. Then he proceeds to do this. Because I'm talking and not really drinking. Oh, Lord Jesus, I feel it already. Like, that's why I don't drink, for real. Because... For one, it's nasty. I hate the taste of alcohol. Like, it's so nasty. But I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way it makes me feel. So I don't need this. Like, I, I really don't need this at all. <laughs> I'm going to be good, though. I'm going to be good. Anyways, like I said, back to the story, though. So now we're up to the point to where he's mentioning court. I hate to take you back to court. I hate to take you back to court. Like just kept saying he was gonna take me back to court. And I'm just like, what is it with you and court? Why do you keep running to court for every single thing? Oh, you're so annoying. And like nothing but a freaking snitch. It's always, oh, I'm finna call the police. Oh, I'm finna take you to court. Oh, I'm finna do this. Oh, I'm finna do that. Like, <laughs> what? is he trying to do like what is his purpose he's mad that i don't want him and he want me so bad and he want me to want him but the fact that i don't want him is getting to him and he want to f with me and he want me around he was saying stuff like oh i want you and milani over every single day i want to see milani every single day and stuff like that no it will never be None of that, no more. Go look at my labor and delivery video. My mama and my sister was with me while I was giving birth to my baby girl because he couldn't put his pride to the side and come support me during my most vulnerable moment. I just want to co-parent and be happy. Focus on what I got going on in my life. I'm still figuring out the whole mom thing because my baby is growing up so freaking fast to the point to where it's just like, it scared me because she's showing me something new every single day, y'all. Milani is about to be eight months in a few days. It feels like I just had her not too long ago. Don't y'all feel the same way? Because a lot of y'all be commenting, saying the same thing. Y'all be like, Milani is growing up so fast. She's getting so advanced. And my baby is crawling. She's already, you know, lifting up. She be lifting up on me and stuff. Like if she was right here, she would be standing up, holding on to like my shoulder or something, you know? I'll like put her back a little bit and let her walk to me and stuff. And she's doing really good with her steps. She's just advancing, you know? So I just want the best for her life because I knew how I grew up and I knew how inconsistent my father was in my life. I'm trying, I'm trying in this situation, but he's not making it easy for me because he always come in with some negativity and it's always just giving bitter and is giving that he's just being petty he don't too much care about milani and he don't care to really see her he just want to get around me you know and he loved the fact that the visitation is supervised by me 
because my mama don't want to do it because I show asked her, can you be around when he want to see Melania and stuff? She already said no, so I have to step up and I have to do this because of court orders or whatever. Once he mentioned court again, I politely got up and I already had Milani. I told him that me and Milani was about to go. So I got up and I was like, oh, finna go. Like, I'm not about to continue to sit here the whole time and you keep talking about court. What is it with you and court? Like, I'm not understanding. So I know everything about him. Like, I, I got all the court records. I got, I know how many times you went to jail. I know how many felonies you got. I know this, this, and this, you know what I'm saying? So why are you continuing to run to the system when you have this type background? You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not understanding. Like, I'm not understanding. So I proceed to get my baby back. It was, at the time, I think on the floor. So I reached down and I tried to grab it and he snatched it. So he put my baby back on the couch or whatever. He was telling me, he was like, you not going no fucking where or whatever. You not going no fucking where. And I'm like, give me my baby bag so I can go. Give me my baby bag so I can go for real. I'm not about to play these games or whatever. And he kept, you know, Jake in the bag and I'm trying to get it and everything. So just imagine like him Jake in the bag. And then he proceeds to put the bag up under his legs. So like... The bag is up under his leg and he's still holding on to it or whatever. And I'm like trying to pull the bag and everything because I'm mad at this point. Because I think he be trying to push my buttons. I don't know. You know, I always try to protect this out of me because who got time to be getting mad all the time? Like that's the old Haley. That's the 18, 19 year old Haley or whatever. Baby, I am 26 years old. Who got time for all that arguing, all that fighting, all that unnecessary stuff that you can literally avoid so you can have a peaceful life, okay? So it's not me. And I hate when somebody try to get me out of character because now I really got to turn up on you. I was like, well, I'm finna go over and leave the bag. He was like, no the fuck you not. No the fuck you not. He said, I'm finna go block your car in. You not going nowhere. I'm finna block your car in right now. Come on, let's go. And at that moment, y'all, he was dead ass serious. And he was to the point where I'm just like, you know what? Let me just call the police because I don't have time. I see where this is going. My baby is crying. She, she don't see this side of me. Like, that's why she cried the whole freaking time we was there because she see how he disrespect her mom and she see how that makes me feel. I be sad, I be irritated, I don't smile, I don't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? And Melanie knows, she know the type of person that I am. I'm very joyful. I'm always playing with her, making her laugh. And I don't be like that. I don't, I don't be myself around him and she feel that. Like every single time we come around, it's always something we's always arguing. It's always police involved. Like it's just always so bad. And don't nobody got time for that. All because a person just won't let me be a mom and just respect the fact that I'm a great fucking mom and I'm literally doing this shit on my own. So I'm on the phone with the dispatcher. I think I said that right. And I'm like, I'm at my baby daddy house and he's holding me and my baby hostage. He will not give me my baby back. And the only thing that I want to do is just leave. And I'm scared for my life. Can you please come here and get him? Because I don't know what's about to happen next, but I'm scared. Please come, okay? Please come. He gonna say, oh, so this is what we doing? We calling the police? We call the police? Mind you, y'all, he mentioned calling the police on me first before I even thought about calling the police. He's like, oh, I'm finna call the police. I'm finna get this on record. I'm finna get this on paper. I'm finna call the police. So I called him first, you know what I'm saying? Because you the one won't let us go. I'm trying to be the bigger person and I'm trying to go. That's what he was doing. Who got time for that, boo? Not me. Hell no. I don't tell her what you would do. You see him beating your head like you crazy or something. And I don't like that. And it scares me. I'm trying to exit the situation. And now it's the problem. So the dispatcher is like, okay, what's the address? Don't y'all know 
He called him too. I was talking to a male and he was talking to a lady. He gonna step outside and go, you know, all the way to the other side. But he's telling her everything, talking about my baby mama don't got my baby on a jacket and she's trying to leave. My baby mama this, my baby mama dad. He even told the people what type of car I was driving, y'all. The man told the people what type of car I was driving. And let me tell you how I know this. Before I got off the phone with them the first time, he was like, okay, well, I'm sending an officer there now. If he decides to let you leave, then just call us back and report it and we'll cancel it or whatever. Me and Milani was able to get in the car and I was able to buckle her in and everything. Honestly, my baby had on a long sleeve. It probably was in like the 60s. I would say like 65 to 67 degrees because it literally had just got nighttime when we was headed there. It was still daylight. We was only there for probably like two hours or something. And it was like 75 degrees at that moment. And I knew that the wind and stuff was blowing. So I still decided to put Melanie on a long sleeve so she could be good. Anyways, walked outside, didn't put my baby on a jacket or anything. That's when he was telling the person on the phone talking about she out here, she don't have my baby on a jacket. Like just niching about everything, y'all. So anyways, buckle my baby in, calm down, said a prayer and everything. And I left. And as I was leaving, you know, um, got to the stop sign, leaving out of his apartment complex. And I called 911 back and I tried to describe his address and everything. And mind you, I'm still like upset because my baby just had to witness all of that for no reason over petty stuff. I canceled everything. I was telling him, I was like, we was able to leave, you can cancel. You don't have to send the police to his house anymore. You know, just trying to ignore the whole situation. I probably should have stayed there till they got there or whatever. So I could have got it as a report because ain't no telling what he done reported. I don't know. He was like, oh, you drive a gray da da da, -da. And I'm like, yeah. How the fuck they know that? I didn't tell them that. He did. He told them what type of car I drive. Like, that's why he's not in Wisconsin right now. This is why he's in Atlanta because ain't no telling what he was doing when he was in Wisconsin. He's seeing his baby, talking about he want to see his baby every single day. Boy, be for real. And pay child support. Pay child support and leave me alone. He put himself on child support, by the way, if y'all didn't know that. My real supporters knew that, but for the people that don't know that, he put himself on child support. And I'm not mad at him. I was gonna let him have it. I just wanted him to leave me and my baby alone because once again, he was being toxic the first time. You went a whole six months without seeing her because you mad at me and you taking it out on your daughter and no. And now you're trying to come around and act like you so in love with her, always kissing on her and everything. No, Milani see that, it's fake. It's so fake. He can't respect me as her mother and he can't respect me as a woman. Milani see that, she don't like it and she don't fool with him, point blank period. And that's the story. So I just thank God that I was able to get away and it didn't escalate in any you know, type of violence or anything because he was literally on a whole different level before I said I'm about to call the police or before I call the police. And I was literally getting scared for real because I'm just like my baby, she really don't see this side of me. She don't be around anything toxic. He's not allowed around us anymore. And if he wanna go back to court, then let's go. We will go back to court. I don't care. But you cannot sit around me and Milani Amora anymore. So do what you gotta do. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Let's chat it up in the comments. I promise you, I am very serious when it comes to replying back to you guys' comments because I love y'all. I love the support and everything that y'all show. So let's cheers to that. I'm gonna start giving people a shout out each video. How about that? On my next couple of videos, I shout out a person. So go comment right now and I'm going to pick a person that I think. Comment on my stuff a lot and I'm gonna give them a shout out. Because 
y'all support me so i want to support y'all as well you can even comment your instagram or you can comment pretty much anything like surprise me or whatever but i'm gonna give somebody a shout out because i just appreciate it i'm happy with the results of my last video so thank you guys for watching that video in a timely manner i really really appreciate the support and i love how you guys just on this journey with me because whew, life be life and this stuff is not easy okay being a mom is not easy and being a mom is not for the weak i respect all the moms out here i love you guys if you're going through what i'm going through lord jesus i'm praying for you too <laughs> I'm praying for you too, and we're gonna get past this, and it's gonna get better. In Jesus' name, amen, okay? Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.